Here's the intersection at 123rd South and State Street in Draper. Although this is a key commercial artery, those who drive here know it can get pretty congested. At rush hour, it's common for people driving through this intersection to wait an average of 45 seconds. Some may wait as long as two minutes. Although the intersection is already near failing, the current congestion is nothing compared to what's coming. Computer models predict that in 20 years, drivers will wait an average of two minutes at this intersection. And that's just the average. Some unlucky drivers will wait as long as seven minutes. Much of the current and future congestion at this intersection is caused by drivers turning left. While only 20% of these cars are making left turns, they clog up traffic for the remaining 80%. UDOT is implementing an innovative design to improve traffic flow today and to address future needs at the intersection. This design, already proven successful around the country, is called a through-turn intersection. The shape of the roads won't change much. They will become a little bit wider and a bulb out will be added here. Two additional bulb outs will be added here and here. This innovative design will move drivers making left turns away from the intersection, freeing up the flow of traffic. Minimal changes to the intersection will help speed up construction and will reduce inconvenience to area businesses. But these small changes will make a big difference. By making a through turn, you bypass the problem of turning left at the main intersection. Instead, you are directed through the intersection. You then make a U-turn at a new light farther down the road. Computer models suggest that in 20 years, the average wait at the new through-turn intersection will be 26 seconds, from two minutes to only 26 seconds per car. That's almost an 80% improvement over the current design. If you are driving straight or turning right, the through-turn intersection will feel almost unchanged you will notice a new light preceding the intersection where you may need to stop to allow the left turning cars to make their U-turn. The biggest change will be when you're turning left. When you need to make a left turn, just remember to make a through turn. Pass straight through the intersection, then make a U-turn, followed by a right turn, and you're there. New signs at the intersection will let drivers know that a through turn is coming up. These signs show that you will need to pass through the intersection, make a U-turn, followed by a right turn. A U-turn at the freeway underpass isn't possible, so if you are heading west on 123rd South, you will have to switch the order. Make a right turn before the intersection, followed by a U-turn, and then head straight through the intersection to where you need to be. The U-turn to the south of the intersection has an existing road connected to it. A new light will be installed to assist vehicles turning left out of Pioneer Road. Utah's new through turn will improve traffic flow, maintain access to local businesses, and enhance safety. It also will result in lower construction costs and minimize disruption to nearby businesses. And with traffic flow improved by almost 80%, the through turn intersection will invite more customers to the area, increasing local business. One more example of how UDOT's innovative efforts keep you moving.